Hi guys, welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. I should explain for people that don't see my Twitter or haven't seen any updates from me. Uh, the reason I've been away for a week, oh, well, I haven't been away, but my lap my computer packed up, so I had to send it away from repair. It's come back, new hard drive, which means that I had to re-download a few bits that I wasn't able to back up or didn't have time to back up. Uh, thankfully, my save files are still intact, so we're going to continue straight in today with another episode of Palmer from the Ashes. Let's take it away. Now you see, I've got to redo all this, so I am going to make a few tweaks to my kind of style of making videos. Going to try something a bit different. So let me know if you enjoy. If you're enjoying this series, leave a like down below. Leave any comments you want to make. And if you want to see my videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and I'll do that all at the start now, not right at the end. So yeah, trying a few d different things with uh, these videos now. Uh, so yeah, where are we today? So uh, Palmer in the semi-final of the uh, Serie D Scudetto. And we're facing Gozano uh, in two legs. Uh, no away goals. It's just whoever is the best on aggregate will go through to the Scudetto final. Uh, last episode, we had two games. One against Venezia, which we won 3-0. And one against the Vestal Nemana, which we lost 2-1. Very strange square pitch played by them. Uh, and that put us uh, top of our group, meaning that we got a semi-final against Gozano. So let's jump straight into it. We'll play the first game. And uh, let's see if we can get a good result. So the team we're going to go with for today's game, Stojanovic playing in goal, a back four of Alborno, Saporetti, Simic and Filipe Agaway. Milieta and Botta playing in central midfield. Molinaro in the hole just ahead of them, Zekin to the right, Karapi to the, Zekin to the left rather, Karapi to the right, Grazzo playing up front as a target man on support and a bench of Cotticelli, Coliaco, Lucarelli, Rodriguez, Barai, Sereni, Rivas, Scapuzzi and Massetti. We're playing on counter-structured, instructions we have are playing higher, fairly wide. Uh, closing down more, more direct passing, more discipline and dribble less. Uh, see if we can get a good result in the first leg here. And uh, hopefully we'll have something to take to the home game. Okay, I'm going to calmly say the media have given you a lot of credit lately. So go out there and put on a worthy display. Uh, only one player green, but most of the players are reacting positively there. It's another square pitch. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get a good result today. Oh, uh, highlight possibly here. Uh, no, it's back with... Got Sano. Uh, so, while I've been away, what have I been doing? Well, I haven't been away from Football Manager completely. I did download Football Manager Mobile. I've uh, got to say, for Valencia going on there at the moment. Um, so far, I'm undefeated in La Liga, so I'm doing a lot better than Gary Nil, who has uh, got Sano uh, winning corner. Uh, yeah, I'm undefeated in La Liga so far, but we haven't really faced any big teams. We've had a draw with Atletico Madrid, but we've yet to face the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid. So, uh, yeah, that's how that's going. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it, because it's separate to this. Uh, I do tweet updates about it sometimes, though. So, um, yeah, my Twitter is in the description if you want to follow me there. You can do so. As the game continues, we've got Zekin on the left wing here. Can he get a ball into the box? No, he has been uh, dispossessed by Aliata. And with nine minutes played, uh, they're having a lot more of the ball, Gossano, uh, and they won it back here again. Uh, possession was wasted by us. And Ross over the header on, but Stjanovic cut the ball, uh, claim of the ball. So what else have I been doing? Well, I do have other consoles. I've got a PlayStation 4. I've been playing a bit of Until Dawn uh, this past week or two. Uh, I've just finished uh, a couple of playthroughs. Because play my first playthrough, I l lost one person right at the end of the game. Uh, played, replayed it th through it. Saved everybody. Uh, and I've got to play through it again and kill everybody to get that trophy. I like my trophies in uh, PlayStation 4, as I really thought we should have got a goal then. That was a chance, and we didn't take it. Half an hour played here. Not a lot's happened. I've seen a few highlights, but we've only had two shots all game. Only one of those is on target as uh, Rosso hits the post for Gossano and Guazzo on the attack here. It's out to Zekin, and that's the end of the highlight. Uh, not going so well so far. Rosso out to Blaze. I wonder if his shirt number is 420. <laughs> God. Saporetti with a clearance, but not very good clearance. Alata to Rosso. Saporetti again dispossesses, but it's one back. And they're on the attack here. Rosso, the shot was blocked. Zekin, now can we counter? No, we can't. We are losing possession every time here. We've not even completed two thirds of our passes. 65% is not good. This isn't working so far. It's not been great football by either team, really. Got Sano, I've not hit the target. Here's Blaze again on the left wing. 
Can he get a ball in? It's Bradaskia to Blaze. His, his shirt's number's number six. So the answer is it's not 420. Asante to Rosso. And they've scored 42nd minute. They've got their first goal. And, well, it was a long time coming, really. They've had plenty of chances. And finally, they've converted one. And they actually have not completed a single cross. I just noticed. That said 0%. Bradaskia to Asante, the ball to Rosso was not picked out and it was an easy effort and the defenders didn't close him down either even though I do have closed down more on and that is half time uh, right, I'm going to assertively say prove a point uh, that's not a bad team to right, what can we change? I'm going to get stuck in I'm going to go for a higher tempo uh, do we want to change anything? No, I'm not going to change anything uh, only thing I'm going to do is go for a fluid check ok, kick off the second half it's, we're 1-0 down at the moment. We do still have a second leg at home, so it's not the end of the world, but this square pitch is messing with us again. It's not the first time we've seen one in this game. In this season, even. Right, I'm going I'm going attacking. I'm not having this. 68 minutes played now. We're going to see if this change can do something. Rosso's in here. That ball was a strange one. His brandy. Rosso's there. Good save by uh, the goalkeeper, Stojanovic. Okay, 70 minutes played now. We are going to make two changes. Molinaro is going to come off. Uh, mind you, we need to do that secondly because otherwise it won't work. Right, so Koliatko is going to come off at the back. Sereni is going to come on for Molinaro. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to have you on target man attack. Uh, that's it. Two changes made. Okay, so booking for one of their players. 83 minutes played now. I'm putting another striker up front. We're going to take off uh, Milieta. And I'm just going to go for a win here. We're going to bring on uh, Massetti, I think. See if he can get us a late equaliser with uh, seven, well, six and a bit minutes left. That keeper is right out there. Here is Zanotti, his Magni, Tzarkovic, Oliboni. Rosso's through. Stojanovic gathers the ball. Puts it out to uh, Guazzo. Here's Asante and Rosso. Uh, Asante, Simic with a clearance, only as far as Brandy on the right. Here's Oliboni, Bradaskia, Rosso's through, good save again. Asante's open goal, Stanovic makes another save. Keeping us in the game here, he's done okay. But the rest of the team has been uh, a below par performance, and that's the final whistle. It's 1 0 after the first leg, and uh, that was not good enough. We should have won that match. So it's 1 0 defeat in the first leg, it's meaning that. Um, Second leg, you know, we have to win. And we have to win by more than one goal. Because away goals don't come into account. So we just have to beat them by more than one goal. And that's it. But that was a disappointing performance. I've sent the assistant for the press conference. Really can't be bothered to do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Second leg now. We're at home. So hopefully the, the performance will be a lot better. And hopefully we can qualify for this final. In the first leg of the other semi-final, Rosso Blue beat Monza 3-1. Uh, and that's away from home. So you'd think they've got the driving seat in that... They're in the driving seat in that tie. And they will finish the job at home. And it will be them in the final, hopefully against us. But we'll see what happens in the next game. Uh, let's jump straight to it. Ah, now... Crocefiso, I think that's how you say his first name. Milieta. Uh, so now he's retiring in the season. Age 35. He's been a good player for us this season. He's um, played... A fair few games. He's averaged not quite seven, which is okay, fairly solid. He's got an assist as well. I'm going to ask him to reconsider his retirement. See if he'll do so. Okay, just one change to the team, uh, and it's up front. Guazzo, his contract is expiring, so there's no need to play him. He's not going to be playing next season, so why use him? And also, he hasn't scored in six hours of football. So, Massesi is coming in up front as an advanced forward. Everything else is staying as it is. Uh, he's not quite match fit, but um, and, you know... He's one and a half star ability there. Uh, but the other ones, as I say, Grazzo's leaving. Scapuzzi, he's played seven games, three off the bench, and he hasn't done that much. Melandre hasn't scored in a while. He's got 13 in goals, though, so he might be an option off the, off the bench, actually. Let's do that. Uh, but the rest of the team is exactly the same, so I won't go through it. Uh, run control flexible. The instructions we have set are uh, stay on feet, close down more, retain possession, be more expressive, and run from positions, dribble less, and look for the overlap. Let's commit the team. We need a good win here. Uh, a 1-0 will only send it extra time. 
Okay, I've gone with the most positive team talk I can. I've said the media have given us credit to go out there putting the worthy display. I've gone passionate, and I've also passionately said to every position, have faith. Let's see if we can get a good win here. Right, let's uh, shrink that a bit. Okay, how are we going to do? Um, we need to win, and we need to win well. Molinaro is on the ball. He finds Aguay. Can he get a ball in? He's uh, switched it to Zekin. Here is Karapi, and he's hit the bar, and Zicardo gets it away. Brandy on the ball now. First chance really goes to us. There's Asante to Brasaskia, and Rosso's on the ball. Get it off him. Here's Pondaco on the left wing. Uh, Blaze, I, we actually injured Blaze last game, so he's not playing this time. Someone else is. Albano wins it. This is the end of the first highlight. Martina Rini, I think his name was something like that, I don't know. Rosso on the ball here. They are one up from the first leg. Rosso is uh, threatening here. Well, I say he's threatening. That was miles wide. So we're going to go next to the guy that wouldn't have gone in. I'm going fluid. Let's see if that helps. Tackling's been a disappointment. Uh, yeah, we've won half of our tackles. Enough said, really. Let's get stuck in them. I know we injured one of their players last time, but let's just do it again. Massetti's playing poorly. And we're up to half time for almost, and uh, nothing has happened really. There's been one highlight. Show a bit of desire, you don't look like a team that wants to win. I'm not going aggressive, just going assertive. And we are taking Massetti off, and we are bringing Melandri on at half time, because Massetti has done nothing. So Melandri's on. We're going attacking, because we need goals. So let's do that. Uh, clear the ball to the flanks. Hit early crosses, yeah. Uh, I'll put the defensive line slightly deeper. I'm going to go high tempo. Start the second half. Goals, please. At least one. Take a bit extra time at the very least, because we can't be going out of the semi-finals. They don't see this important, the board, but, you know, I want to do as well as we can. And we've won the ball here. This could be the start of something. It's out to uh, Karapi on the right. We've had, well, we've had a lot more shots than them. They've had one shot. They've had a bit more of the ball. Both teams passing it well. Crossing has been an awful... That, that, well, they, they've attempted one cross. We've attempted 22. We've succeeded with three. That's not good enough. I'm, right, I'm on attacking. I'm not going overload yet, but... Come on. Can I see some football, please? Right, I'm going overload now. Come on, guys. This is awful. Change being made. Um, right, what am I going to do? Zekin's been all right. Melandry, since he came on, has been awful. Right, I'm going to take off Milieta. We're going to have two strikers up there. Scapuzzi is going to come on as well. Now, you can play as a target man. So let's do that. Uh, and let's go pump the ball into the box. Let's try that. Instead of crossing, because crossing's not working, obviously. So let's try going straight into the box. We're on overload. We're going highly structured. Time is just running so quickly. Route one. This is, oh my god, nothing's happened. That's awful. How, like, oh god. Great return to videos. It's unacceptable to have lost on Agri here. I can't believe that's just happened. How have we lost that? How have we lost that? Well, the only thing now is, I've just done one video after a week break. Now, it's the end of the season. I've got to go through all the pre-season. Damn it. Knock my can over. Go through all the preseason, and I don't know when the next video is going to be because I've now got to play all the preseason games. So there may be like a sort of another day without a video, which is great after I've just had a week away from videos. Great stuff. Uh, the season's over. That's it. That was that was the end of it. They just got knocked out, just like that. So the fans' player of the season, uh, Karapi, the best player. Um, I would have to agree with that. He's been excellent this season. Averaged seven point five seven. Uh, 12 goals, 5 assists, 4 man of the match appearances, and 28 appearances. Very nice stuff. Alborno, just as good, uh, the left back. 8 assists and 7 man of the match awards in 32 appearances on loan from Inter. If we can get him permanently, that's great, but I don't know how if we are going to be able to do that or not. 7.5 rating for him. Uh, in third place was Stefano Botta, who's been very good as well. 5 man of the match awards for him. Six assists and two goals in 37 appearances, 7.43 on average. Uh, we played well all season. It's just a shame that we couldn't get that to that Scudetto final. But, oh well. So we won that. We lost in the semi-final of the Scudetto and the Coppa Italia. 
just forget about it. We lost in the very first hurdle. Manchester season apparently was against Ravenna. Moment to forget, yeah, the 4 0 defeat to San Marino. Um, probably pretty forgettable. Average set attendance of 12,000, which for Serie D is pretty darn good. Total players used 29th. Quite a few. Right, team meeting. I don't know what we're expecting to do next season in Serie C. It's been a great season and you've done, all done brilliantly to so get us promoted. I'm going to give you all a chance for the next campaign. And I think you can up to a mid table finish. Let's try that. Okay, um, most of them agree with that. So, yeah, that's the sort of reaction I was after. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. Pretty bad end to the season. We didn't win the skid dead, so we got to the semi-finals and we lost in dramatic fashion. Well, not dramatic, it was a boring game. Uh, but, you know, I get, we did get promotion, so it's not all that bad. We weren't expected to win the skid so but we would like, we, I would have liked to have had a goal winning it. But we're going up to the LEGO Pro next season, so it's not all that bad. Uh, we have a bit of money to take there as well. We've got a transfer budget of 7 million, so hopefully we'll do well up there. We can spend some money, we can get some players in, we can get rid of some of the dead weight that's not going to be any good anymore. Uh, next video, honestly, I don't know when it's going to be because I've got a clear pre-season to play. So, um, the next update, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. Leave any comments you want to make. And if you want to see videos as and when they're on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button. And I will see you very soon for the next video again when it's going to be. I don't know. Um, but hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, didn't win. Um, we didn't win either game, really. We lost in the Madrid. So, not great, really. But never mind. See you next time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.